we also have artists that we talk to at Fame Wizard that say, I sound like this person, or I'm the next this person yeah. who's already established. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about emulating people's favorite stars yeah. or people that have already been there? First of all, I think it's a great thing to do. I think everybody starts out by doing that. Uh, we st all stand on the shoulders of giants is the good adage that comes to mind right there. Um, I think that first it's, it helps in you describing uh, to a person what it is you sound like because it's, it helps to give a description. But also, when you emulate great people, if you, as long as you're emulating great people, if you keep emulating people, eventually the final result can be you find your own style after a while. After you, you put together a group of, of select people that you're emulating here, you hopefully will find your own identity. You know, just don't don't stay in the emulation mode too long, though. Otherwise, uh, if you get too much as a sound alike, people will be able to spot that very easily. You know, so there's a at some point you have to just release yourself and say whatever it is I'm doing now, that's the way I sound. You know, just every once in a while, try and be yourself. So, David, once you've finished a song in the studio, you've recorded it, you're happy with it, how do you take it to the next level when you're on stage performing? Ah, the next level. The Good next point level. right there. Uh, you know, I've been told, it's been said by some great people that the song and the record that you make is only the blueprint that you're using. That that's just your starting point. When you get on stage, if you find the right caliber of musicians, uh, you, it just expands and just grows from there especially if you're not trying to just duplicate the record exactly. That's one thing, because I'll tell you, having been on stage, it's a whole other experience. Uh, being in front of 10,000 people or 40,000 people, that takes on a whole new, it's a, it becomes a whole new animal right there of dealing with a crowd, because the way you play to a crowd is a little different, and their response becomes part of the new Mute your music. They're singing. They're clapping along with it. So you have these added overdubs. You have 40,000 people you didn't have before, and they're clapping, or they're there. And uh, so, and, uh, and it gives you a chance to also experiment with your arrangements and stretch out and have freedom. You know, where the confines of music, usually on CDs and the radio formats, are still like three and a half and four minutes. You can take those songs, I'll uh, use an example like Peter Gabriel does, and have a five minute drum intro and then have uh, you know Yusu Endure from you know Africa singing uh, you know so, an, an intro after that to it and just make a 15 minute musical work out of it mm -hmm. so it's really just a, a, a springboard you know your, your, the, the original song right there and the record for what you can do live you know 